I heard a rumour that it's Retro Recipe Friday. Did you know? <laughs> well, you might be right. I'm stuffing an egg. Do you, do you like the way I said that? I'm stuffing an egg. I'm, I, do you know stuffed eggs? I love them. I love them. Deviled eggs. Do you remember those in the 70s? I mean, you must have been about 39 in the 70s. <laughs> no, stuffed eggs. You know, you used to get deviled eggs at a dinner party. At a dinner party. They were canapes on a little a little square of toast and they probably just put Worcestershire sauce and a bit of tomato ketchup with mayonnaise back into it, Stuff, piped it back in, maybe a little decoration of a bit of tomato on top or something, absolutely delicious. Egg and cress sandwiches, probably my favourite sandwich in the world. So let's do something with a humble egg. I'm going to do a dish I've done for many many years, it's called earth mimosa or egg mimosa. And the idea behind it is you stuff the egg secretly, just with some herbs, very simple, and then you coat it with some mayonnaise, and then you push some of the egg yolks through a sieve to make it look like the mimosa flower on top. So it's really pretty, all right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this, sir? I'm not convinced. <laughs> You're not convinced? Why not? Why are you not convinced? No, just, well, oh, fanning around let's wait and see. All right, well, first of all, Hard boil your eggs, so put them into water, this is boiling, stir them around, and if you stir them around, hopefully you get the egg set in the centre of the egg, if you do that, because it's kind of like the vortex that you cause, makes that egg set in the centre. And as soon as you've cooked them, put them into cold water and keep the cold water running on them for at least 10 minutes, okay? And that will prevent that nasty grey sulphur ring, you know, that horrible grey ring that you get around the yolk if you just kind of leave them once you cook them. That forms, and that's just a really bit unsightly, and we don't want that. We want nice yellow yolks, because that's what we're going to be pushing through the sieve as well. So I'm just going to um, put a couple of yolks aside, okay, um, just to push through to do the mimosa and the rest of them I'm going to pop into a bowl. There we go. And I'm going to add just put a little bit of that egg in there, I'll use that one. Oh, wrong. I'm get oh look they've split. That's not very good. That's me manhandling them too severely, but it'll be fine because once you stuff them it'll be fine. So the egg yolks are in there. I'm gonna add to that just some chopped parsley and some chopped chives. And we'll probably put a little bit of black pepper and a tiny bit of salt in there and some mayonnaise. And that's your lot, really. That's how you stuff them. It's nice and simple. If you've got some watercress, great, put that through as well. I don't. Um, sorrel is lovely as well because it's got a slightly lemony, um, acidic kick to it, which really goes well with eggs. Sorrel goes beautifully with eggs, but again, I don't have any. I used to grow it in my garden, um, but not any not in this garden. Um, and also it's a bit of a bully. So if you ever think you're gonna plant sorrel, put it in a pot or put it away from everything else because it tends to go bananas. Um, so sorrel goes well in here, but I'm just going to do some chopped parsley, nice and simply, very, very traditional, and some chopped chives. So just a little bit smaller. This is a flat leaf and curly, I think a bit of both from the garden. There we are. So pop that into the egg yolks. There we are. And then just mash them down with a little bit of um, a bit of mayonnaise. Just with your fork. That's all you need to do. And I'm just going to get up a little bit of um, a pinch of salt. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to use. That's really nice tomato salt from the Isle of Wight Tomato Company. It's a Helen Mons salt and it's got tomato going through it. It's really yummy. It's very well on tomatoes as well. Um, some pepper in there and a little bit of mayo. Wallop that all together. Right, just leave that aside for a minute because the next thing I'm going to do is going to make a chiffonade of lettuce, um, which is the French way of describing very, very thinly cut lettuce. Okay, so traditionally, earth mimosa sits on a bed of lettuce. So, just pick off a dodgy 
pretty bit. This lettuce has been in the fridge for a little while. Um, it rinse. And then just put your leaves on top of each other like that and give them a little roll. And very thinly with your big knife, minding your fingers, thinly slice. Now, if you don't want to do this, and I don't blame you if you don't want to, um, just use the whole leaves. They just look just as pretty. So you've got a little nest of um, leaves that they sit on. That's all, you, that's all we're looking for, really. But doing the chiffonade is just what I remember doing for this before. See the helicopter's out again. We have an airfield, two fields away, don't we? Mm -hmm. And um, the Apache helicopters like to come and pretend to land. I'm just going to go through like that. Get my plate. I'm going to lay the chiffonade on top. Okay, so. I'll just pop it like that. A little bit on the outside. So when the egg's on it, you'll see in a minute, I just like a little bit of that just showing. All right, so now to stuff the little babies, grab a teaspoon again today. That's why you're cheery. That's why I'm cheery. Sun, I've forgotten the galaxy tantrum. No, I haven't forgotten my galaxy, galaxy tantrum. I'm still feeling very sore about the lack of galaxy chocolate. But I'm um, happy because the sun is out again. So just stuff like that. Even the broken one, you'll see what I mean. You don't really notice it once it's on. You'll see that. So just make sure you've got enough for all of them to start with, and then you can go around and refill. This is to be honestly, it's so delicious. And if it all fails, if your eggs will break, we'll just mash it all up and shove it in the sandwich. <laughs> None, nobody would be any wiser. Almost there. Do you want to try a bit of the inside of this, John? No, wait. We wait. You're very patient then. Okay. Just move the bowl out of the way so mm. people can see what you're doing. I, on the other hand, I'm going to just try it. Which can I tell you? Those chives in there are just delicious. Because they're gentle. They're a gentle oniony, alumy flavour. They're not like in your face like a spring onion. Just very gentle. Okay, now you flip them. Two. Three. Oh, come on, let's be really retro into a circle. Oh my goodness me. I feel a ring coming on again, John. Like my ring mold the other day with the rice. Do you remember the ring of the ring a ringer rice mold for the coronation chicken? We can do the same here. Oh, it's so tiny. Oh, now that'll be my daughter. So I'm gonna pick up and come back. That was a nice chat with my girly just then. Unexpected but very lovely. Um. Right, so now we're going to coat these mayonnaise, uh, coat these mayonnaise. Now we're going to coat these eggs with some mayonnaise. So I need to make it a coating consistency. So when it comes out of the jar, or if you've made it, um, it's quite solid. Have I got mayonnaise on my nose then? Sorry, mayonnaise on my nose. Um, it's quite solid, so you add a little bit of water to let it down, a little bit of hot water, preferably some that's been boiled in the kettle and it's just not boiling hot, just sort of lukewarm. That's ideal. And then you get this lovely consistency, which is called coating consistency. So do you see that mayonnaise is coating on top of itself, sort of leaving um, a ribbon. And that's going to be then transferring that sort of um, texture to the eggs. So what I do is using a big spoon, and this is the fun bit. So you just get your spoon and you hold it quite close to the ladle, all right? So you've got good control of this and you take your mayonnaise spoon on the spoon 
and you run it quite closely over the top of the egg in one movement, okay? Like that. So you get a lovely, smoothly covered egg. You do the same with all of them. It's quite satisfying. Yeah. Nearly there. See, it's really very simple, but just be gentle. Take your time on it, don't be too fast. sitting perfectly in a nice, not too thin and not too thick layer, just a perfect layer on top of the eggs. So you can still see that there's an egg underneath. Right? So there we go. Beautifully covered. So the next thing you do is you take your egg yolks that you reserved and you just push them through a metal sieve, not a, not a plastic sieve because it'll go rubbery and also they won't push through so well. So you just push them through that sieve and then you can see you've got lovely sieved egg yolks to put on top and that is where the mimosa comes in you see so that's resembling the mimosa flower that's the dog it's resembling the mimosa flowers that you have which has got that beautiful smell of that sort of early summer smell of mimosa so just push it all through. Is that looking pretty, John? Lovely. Yeah? I think that looks nice. So that's just coating on top of the eggs. Oh, it's so pretty. Come on, it's a really spring-like dish, isn't it? All those lovely spring colours. You've got the green lettuce, you've got the, the lovely yellow with the mimosa egg going over the top. And then just to finish it, if I had um, some of those lovely calendula marigolds in the garden at the moment, I would put some of the leaves on there so you have these lovely bright orange leaves. But mine, oh, they're just coming out. <laughs> so what I've done is I've just got a few um, sprigs of forget-me-nots. So I'm just going to put a few little forget-me-not flowers on top. Just so they look, because it looks pretty and spring-like. And I'm feeling all springy today, John. All spring-like and, you know, like a gambling lamb. Do you think I'm a gambling lamb? <laughs> Do you want me to answer that? <laughs> there we go. So I just put those on top. If there's two and one, it doesn't matter. I like that. I like to have things to be slightly odd. And you can put um, forget me not. So I'd be careful. So a lot of flowers aren't edible, but an awful lot are edible. Pansies are. I've got any rose petals? So you can put some of those on if you've got some of those already in bloom. Um, go for it. Just wherever you pick them, make sure. Hopefully that an animal hasn't done a little whoopsie on it. That's Frank Spencer used to say. Anyway, there you go. So that is my egg mimosa. How simple is that? And how cheap as well. I mean, that was four eggs, a bit of lettuce and some mayonnaise and some herbs from the garden. And I just think it's, it's a lovely lunch dish. Or it's, on, it's a great side dish for a barbecue as well. And it's going to be sunny this weekend, I think. So let's do a barbecue and let's do one of those on the side.